All right. Now I'm going on to Feel Good Friday. <laughs> well, and you know why we're doing that is because we just uh, did not, we were not able to have a, a Thursday. So we're moving on to our Friday. Okay, this was a cool graphic. If you were on Facebook or Instagram, this turntable moved. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm practicing. I'm learning. I really liked it a lot. But this was a, this was kind of fun. And I don't have the responses. So we're just going to talk about it right now. But, you know, according to Johns Hopkins, music provides a total brain workout. Research has shown that listening to uh, music can actually reduce anxiety, blood pressure and pain, as well as improve your overall um, sleep quality, your mood, your mental alertness and your memory. So we kind of started this list of 80s and 90s songs kind of start the weekend off right. What was I just listening to? Um, oh my gosh, it was in my head all weekend. We, oh, you know what? My mother, my sister and I, <laughs> it's not a great song. It's a great song, but not like jamming kind of song. We were playing a card game the other night and out of nowhere, somebody yawned and it just reminded me of Minnie Ripperton's A Loving You. And you know, she hits that high note. So that was it. Every time, you know how yawning's contagious. Every time somebody yawned, we hit those, I'm not doing it. I was going to, but now I got self-conscious. We hit the high note, um, and I never realized that her daughter was Maya Rudolph. She actually sings to her in the song, if you listen to the full version. It was written for uh, SNL alum and funny lady Maya Rudolph. So what would be like your 80s or 90s song to kick a weekend off? People have to have them. <laughs> 